I'm a fiery Malaysia. I am a Groglander, and it seems we'll be getting John McLean out of a spot of bother today. What's that smell? What do you care, McLean? Oh, no care at all. It's just that being locked up in this cesspool isn't getting any better with you turning into a goddamn fish market. Tuna. Yeah, I recently acquired the taste. Don't suppose you could acquire a taste for breath mints? Hey, you're a real funny guy. Let's see how hard you laugh when Frontier busts me out. Face it, fish boy. They're done with you. Screw you, McLean. You think they're just gonna leave me in here with you? No way, man. When they get here, all hell's gonna break loose. <laughs> right. I'm sure that'll be happening any minute now. Think about this, muchacho. When you're rotting in here, I'll be with your daughter. And so we begin the prison level, or the Sea Area Correctional Facility, as they call them nowadays. And this is probably one of my favourites, because it involves a prison break, and the first part of it is very puzzle-based, or espionage-based. Yeah. Essentially, you have to use your head to get out of this situation. And as you can see, there's a guard uh, walking around, and we have to take him prisoner. I mean, you can't hurt him either. If he dies, uh, it's mission over. So I'll just wait until he comes around and then just get him when he's not looking. Take it easy, pal. I'm not going to hurt you. What are you doing? Now, I do like this first part because you do see some interesting characters with the other prisoners. A few people to talk to and they have interesting, thing interesting things to say. So that's a plus about this level. And this is definitely probably probably my favourite. Sorry, but I gotta go. They'll shoot you on sight. And again with the shotgun. But I don't uh Hey, did you hear? Move Jackman out of his cell. Seems he's been making bombs out of his aftershave. Fool been hiding them in his mattress. Anyhow, the uh, cell inspection this morning, they shake down his bed and four of them break. Yeah, he, he was never the sharpest. I understand that stuff's pretty flammable shit. Yeah, but I don't equip the shotgun because uh, you can't take people prisoner if you're holding a two-handed weapon or two weapons in each hand. And that got me stuck the first time I played this game because I was trying to take pe people prisoner and he wouldn't let me. And I was thinking, what was I doing wrong? There is a feature in the settings menu where it automatically equips any new weapon you acquire just relax and I won't hurt you what we'll have that turned off I'd rather have control over what I'm equipping I'm gonna have to leave you here for now you'll never get away with this this place is gone plum crazy thank the Lord we ain't with the freaks you ever seen a freak before McLean one of them looks like your sister <laughs> I do love that guy and spoilers, but we do meet these prisoners again later on. Although, I'm not sure if they're the same people. Dude, I only had two months left and this riot breaks out. I don't want to be implicated in any of this. Yeah, but as for meeting these characters again and wondering if they're the same people, well, you'll see what I mean. It's likely, it's likely the developers just reuse the same voices and models later on in the game. Yeah, essentially, there there will be a riot later on, and you'll have face prison, prisoners as enemies. How you plan on getting out of here, McLean? I reckon you'll have to jimmy them main doors open somehow. Maybe some sort of emergency in here get the guard away from his desk. Yeah, and when you see these prisoners later on, I do wonder if they have the same characters. But I think it's more likely the developers just reuse the voices now these are and very models. Bad for you. An important item just picked up. What's up, cuz? 
Shit, what you looking at, fool? Don't look scared, McLean. Nothing more than a simple prison riot. You know, what am I saying? You ain't no fool. You know what's going down. Yeah, this part is definitely the most puzzle based, or. Yo, McLean, got a smoke? Allow me. Hey, buddy, I need a light. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, it's definitely the most puzzle based air part of the entire game. Yo, man, Bale, I don't want you near me. Look, Holmes, don't get me involved in any of your business. Go to hell, Pecker What's a Pecker Wood? If you're looking for answers, you need to go somewhere Just, I don't know what a Pecker Wood means. But anyway. Whew, this mattress reeks. Yeah, exactly. This part of the game seems a bit more like an RPG, in a sense. Which, I, which is why I do like it. It does feel more fleshed out. A man's gotta go, a man's gotta... I take the time to talk to the few a few of the prisoners. You wanna join the blades, McLean? I'll introduce you to Sergio and Nitric. Uh, no, want. thank you. I've already met Nitric. No nice guy. I injected a hundred bullets into his face. What are they, Holmes? Yo, I ain't seen shit like this in a long time, man. Yo, it reminds me of what happened at Chino. Now, I believe I'm done prattling around here, so uh, onward with the puzzle. And you see the, s the other cell at the bottom there, the, the guard's post, as it were. Yo, guards! Guards, we got a fire here! Come on, man, let us out! Now, you light the fire, the guard comes out of that little holding area, and you sort of sneak down this way, and he will run the other way. And I do it crouching just to make sure I don't get seen. There, you can just see him there running into the cell. So it's essentially the cause of distraction sneak boy technique. I can't, I'm kind of uh, embarrassed to say this, but I got stuck the first time I played this game. Well, this is a dumb idea, John. But really, when you put these um, sequences in order, it's really not an issue. You just have to think about it for a while. And on IT, I fuck up here and I keep it in. Yeah, he sees me. The thing is, I'm not sure if he saw me through the through the lockers um, holds there, the vent. And I, and at this point, I'm pretty much stuck. I can't move. I can't. So I just, out of frustration, just beat up this guard, just to <laughs> just just because I feel like dicking around. Now, fortunately for you, I do edit out that file and do it again right this time. Now, an important thing to note is, idea, is that John. when you take the other guards prisoners, the ones that are walking around with shotguns, when you take them prisoner, leave them somewhere where they can't be found. Because if someone finds them, that counts as them finding you. And uh, you can see here I'm just crouching in within the locker. Why am I waiting? Yeah, I'll just stay in here until you hear the sound, then you know for sure. But the stealth section is nearly over, there's just a few more things we have to do. And then all hell breaks loose. And that's another reason why I like this uh, level. Did you see the guys they brought in from El Segundo? They get younger and uglier every day. Generic comment about prisoners. Total scum. But like I said, all... One of the other reasons why I like this level is because all hell breaks loose, and it's definitely like a riot, and all shit's blowing up, and prisoners are running riot. It's it's quite a fun, uh, fun little level. Because head of the elevator, if you go left, there's you can't go there anyway, and the guards see you. Finally, some use out of the shotgun. This is way up. It's gonna blow. Figures. The thing is, I shoot that. I shoot that prisoner there. But I think if I left him alive, the, the chopper wouldn't come after me. So I kind of screwed myself over there. Oh, oh, and that glass there—you could fall straight through it. So be careful. 
when you're running across the rooftop. And so on to the next checkpoint. And this part is definitely more action based. Prison prisoners running everywhere, all hell breaking loose. But you'll, you'll see in a moment. Drop your weapons! Shoot them! Yeah, I'm not sure if you saw that clearly, clearly, but there's like a scripted shooting match between some guards and some prisoners. And I don't think you can actually shoot either of them. The sort of it's sort of a scripted to go a certain way. Please. I've got three kids. Hey, hey, it's McLean. I'm a cop. I'm here to help. John McLean? The one and only. I need help. Supplies. Uh, medical. I, l uh, I love how in this world everyone knows who John McLean is. Guys, we got a He's like some superstar. On no. oh, these fuckers. Oh, missed two. And the thing is, I've always tried to get free all three of those enemies there, but I've only ever managed to get two at, at the most. Need to be more accurate, I suppose. I'm gonna find me some guards to kill. I love the over the top accents. Does make the enemies more entertaining. No more killing for you. You're dead. <laughs> I love that I'm very aware I don't have other weapons, so I'll bail around the corner to hide. Yeah. <laughs> so I just love how how they get thrown, fr thrown back, like in traditional shotgun manner. RIP and all that. And uh, another day, another med kit. And this is the, one of those levels where they become very useful near the end. Now, I really should have probably cut out this track backtracking, but uh, it is an interesting in instance where we get a med kit and we don't use it on ourselves, we give it to someone else. It's the only time in the game where it happens, really. Here you go. Take a load off. Thank you, son. Take this. You'll need it for the locker. Uh, thanks, buddy. And uh, by doing that little side quest and being a good citizen, we uh, we get a few bonus items. I do like that in games, where they reward you for putting a bit, bit more extra effort into it. Now, giving the guy the med kit kind of reminds me of a part in Wind Waker, where you have to give a fairy to someone to make them better. And always we I'm always worried that when you select the item, the fairy will just fly out and heal Link instead of the person it's supposed to go to. And I was kind of worried there that that would do the same. I would select the med kit and it would heal me instead of the NPC. So I did make sure I was standing right next to him when I uh, selected it. No, I'm not sure, but I don't think you can take that guy alive. If he's kicking the guard, and you, if you sneak up behind him, it tends not to work. That's all I need. Hooray, another med kit. Yeah, you can tell these are the sequences I usually don't like, where you're out in the open. 
but uh, it doesn't turn out to be that bad. I got those three fuckers and I only took a, took a couple of hits. So it wasn't that bad. Now there is a chopper that's around, flying around this area. If it sees you, it will follow you. So I'm making sure I'm not, uh, it's far away from me. And uh, here we have the sniper again. And those annoying fuckers will sh shoot at you from the towers. So it is satisfy satisfying to get them before they get you. If you've seen me play through the Hollywood studio level, you know I'm, I like to be a bit sneaky by now. Shit. <laughs> I love how I take cover here, and it's it's to no avail. Apparently bullets go through crates. Which I can't argue with, that does make sense. Bullets beat wood, it, wood any day of the week. So I'll make a uh, strategic withdrawal there. Some might say retreat, I prefer to say strategic withdrawal. But yeah, that chopper can get annoying, and at, usually at this point it's best just to run for it, through this hectic sequence. Which I kind of do. Now, I'm sure you've noticed at the end of every level there's a... There is a sequence which tells you, like, how many kills you got to your accuracy, accuracy your favourite weapon. And I won't lie to you, sometimes my accuracy could have be a bit better but you know, like I said I'm not using the auto aim in the game so at least I'm playing it uh, fairly legitimately I suppose if I was really being hardcore I would play it on hard mode but uh, <laughs> no such luck with me I'm afraid I like to think I'm decent at games or at least I'm decent if I get to practice a game enough but I'm no like hardcore expert Down the shotgun. You know, I remember playing this sequence and wondering why my shotgun wasn't killing them, but I can't actually see I was slightly off. That and shotguns are never effective long range. Well, not never, but... Well, obviously because Scott shotguns scatter bits of lead everywhere. They're really good short range, but not so good long range. Well, I was saying that, when it comes to games, I'm not sure if they program that. I mean, they do now. Obviously, but in older games, I'm not sure they program shotguns like that. Hells yeah, again with a sniper. I did mention that in the first part, there are no... All the weapons you see in this game are based in reality, so there's no surprises. You get all the weapons you expect. Pistols. Rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles, even a flamethrower and a rocket launcher. And that's about as as exotic as the weapons get. I mean, I can't really argue with it. They're going for like a realistic-ish setting. Yeah, but it's fair enough. They, all the weapons do their job fine. And you can hear the, that chopper is really trying to get to me. But uh, lucky I find, you know, another one of my much needed medkits in this section here. You know, there is, they are quite plentiful in this level, I won't lie to you. That's probably because they knew it, it might be a bit difficult, to say the least. But as you can see in some sections, like you saw before, there are guards and prisoners shooting at each other. So sometimes the guards will take out the prisoners for you. I 
and here's another enemy I take out with arm wounds rather than an actual headshot. But as long as he, as long as he's out of my way, the better. That's all I need really. Something I am sort of mulling over in my mind about is the use of areas in this level. Like we saw the exercise yard, we saw the cells. Here we see the library and there's also mess halls and other areas too. So they do really utilise the theme of the prison very well. I'll give them that. And it's definitely one of the more interesting le levels. I'm trying to figure out if that's the corridor I first saw when I dropped through the yes, dropped through the roof, but it isn't. Look, I'm telling you, I don't. Hey, you goomba! I saw you smoking with McLean, you piece of shit. Look, Vinny, I told you, I don't got him. There's McLean. You know, I do look how these two characters talk about cigarettes, which might have been a reference to the earlier part of the level. Oh, the trouble is, the guy I actually smoked the cigarettes with is the guy questioning the other guy who I didn't smoke cigarettes with. So, did they make a mistake there, or is not is it not supposed to be a reference? Ah, but nevertheless, it doesn't matter. Okay, this part's nearly over, so please join me again next time, where we'll be finishing off this pr the prison level. I want to smoke too soon, because there's this one last guy I've got to take out first. But uh, anyway, if you like it, subscribe and uh, join me again. I've been the Croglander.